y'all it's Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. Today we're making such a delicious breakfast casserole. It's called a fireman's breakfast casserole and boy is it good with our swaggerty sausage. Let's get started. All right I've started with half my onion. I have cut off the not the root side the other side and you want to keep the root side on so that, that it clings to each other and then when you cut, cut it you want to kind of cut it at a diagonal down the onion and that way you don't have to make a slice through the middle you know you don't have to go this direction if you do the diagonal cut actually a viewer sent me this the other day and I watched the video and uh, learned how to do it and then you just chop it and then when you get to the end, I'll show you how, how you cut the rest of it up. That's all there is to it. Today, we are gonna be using some Swaggerty Farm Premium Sausage, and this is their seasoned mild sausage. And this is a pound of sausage, and we're gonna brown it up and get it out of here and into the skillet. I'm gonna open this one up all the way this way. All right, we have browned our sausage. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to it and it's just all going in the casserole, okay? And then we're gonna add our peppers and onion to it. And we're going to let these onions and peppers cook inside the sausage and butter for a few minutes while we prepare the bottom part of our casserole. So you wanna brown your sausage first and then cook these onions and peppers in your sausage with some butter. Now, of course, if you're making this for kids, you can leave the peppers out or the onions or cut them really tiny. But this is a fireman's casserole, so these are for grown people. <laughs> you can also add some mushrooms to it. I didn't have any mushrooms, but if you have some fresh mushrooms, you could cook them in here. Or even canned mushrooms, you could drain them and put them in here too. So whatever you like, or whatever you want to add to your breakfast casserole, you ought to do that. All right, we're going to spray the bottom of a 13 by 9 pan, and we're going to crack 12 eggs into it. Yes, this is a lot. And you can always half the recipe and make it in a 9 by 9 square pan. So you're going to crack all 12 eggs into the bottom. And I'm hoping this cooks up and I can slice it, but I haven't made this before. It's a recipe I thought would be really good with our Swaggerty sausage. And so we'll see how it serves up when it gets done coming out of the oven. All right, now you're gonna take a fork and you're gonna bust the yellows. And it says you can just lightly scramble them if you want to. I think I'll do that. Just lightly. See how it's doing. I think it's what goes in next. Looks good, Donna. That looks like a good breakfast. Now we're gonna put a cup of cream on top of it. Now you can use a heavy whipping cream, a whole milk if that's what you got. I'm using half and half. I think half and half is a good medium choice. It's actually half heavy whipping cream mixed with half whole milk and that's why it's called half and half. So it's kind of like you're putting a little bit of both in there and it's a nice combo. 
You're going to need a whole pound of cheese. And remember, a lot of these packages you're picking up today at the store are only eight ounces. You're going to need a pound of cheese. So you're going to need two of those packages or one pound bag. And it costs for cheddar. I don't have any. I'm all out. So I'm using what I got. I'm using a Mexican blend. So of course, use what you got. Right now, groceries are too expensive not to. So if you picked up Mexican blend thinking that's what you were going to make something with, then you use what you've got. And now we're gonna put our sausage and onion on top of the cheese. And just kind of scrape it out a little bit at a time and try to get it in there evenly. So if you're a fireman and it's time for you to do breakfast, I'm sure y'all got some really good recipes that you like to use but you should give Swaggerty sausage to try too with this fireman's casserole. And remember, we added butter to that, so it looks a little greasy going in, but it's butter. And we all know we like butter on our eggs, right? It says you can salt and pepper it, so I guess we'll do that right quick. Just a little salt. And cheese is salty, so if you don't want to add the extra salt, you don't have to. And just a little pepper. And if you just want to pepper the eggs at the bottom before you start, that's fine too. Just put a little pepper on. All right, now we're just going to top it with the rest of the cheese, and we're going to get it in the oven and bake it. That's a lot of cheese going in here. Really, I shouldn't have put any more salt in it. So remember that. I kind of doubt it even, even would have needed any salt with this much cheese in it. We're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for an hour. So let's get this in the oven. We'll see you guys in an hour. We'll see how good it sets up. I'm hoping that I can cut it into squares because then we can slide it into the freezer and have it for breakfast. We'll see. See you in a few minutes. All right, our casserole is done. It's nice and toasty brown, bubbly. Our dogs, they're so funny to have the video around. Um, every time we go to do something, they start drinking their water and coughing and walking around. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to video with a bunch of dogs. <laughs> you did it right on cue, didn't you? Oh, yes. Don't this look delicious? Now, I'm hoping it's going to slice nice so that we can serve it up and freeze it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut it while it's hot, and we're just gonna see what happens. Oh yeah. This is what I was hoping for. It almost sets up like a quiche, you know, without the bottom. Now, I know a lot of casseroles, people actually crumble up bread and put in the bottom. I've seen them with croutons down in the bottom. And of course you can do that. And I'm gonna make one that has hash browns in it. But this was the first one I wanted to make. It's good. It's a lot of it. I'll pick this one up and let you see it in the middle. You can see the layers. It's smoking hot. So you're gonna to wanna to eat this hot with some crusty bread. Think it'd be good with a biscuit or just some crusty bread. Don't you, Daddy? I think so. All right, we're gonna give it a try. Let's taste it. It's really good. The cheese is toasty. It's delicious. This is gonna be the one I taste and it's hot. You know what it reminds me of? A sausage ball. Cause you know, it's kind of got the onion and the spice taste in it and the sausage. 
Um, so it reminds me kind of a, like a sausage ball. Now that is some good stuff. Really good. I'm gonna let Chris taste of it too. I'm gonna let Chris taste it. That's good. A lot of breakfast casseroles are real thick, kinda. You know, that's real light, isn't it? It's fluffy like yeah, an it's, omelet. It's, yeah, it's good. And what's cool about it is it's something you can mix up and put in the refrigerator, get up and bake the morning of if you're taking something to Sunday school or if you've got um, a family gathering coming over. You can always put it together and slide it in the refrigerator and then take it out and bake it uh, the next day. But it was absolutely delicious and it cuts really nice and separates really nice to go, you know, in single servings. Me and Chris are going to take a bunch of these and we are going to freeze them and then we can heat them up in the mornings for breakfast you can in really the air taste fryer. The, you can really taste the sausage in it too. Oh, it's I mean, delicious. It, it really stands out. Yes. I'm going to tell you, Swaggerty sausage is what makes it taste so good. If you don't believe me, order some. I can guarantee you, if you try Swaggerty sausage, you're going to love it. You can see by all the comments people are making on the videos that I'm making for Swaggerty Sausage how much is loved. So give it a try. All right. We'll see you next time on Collard Valley Cooks where we cook like our mamas did. I love ya. When time it's over now, Tammy, she just showed you how to cook it up like mama used to do.